there, I'm Kath and welcome to my channel Made by Kath Craft or welcome back if you've visited before. Um, on my channel I love to talk about all things sewing related and fabric related and I also throw a little bit of knitting in sometimes too because I love knitting as well. Um, so if those are things that you're interested in I'd love it if you'd subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon um, so you'll be notified of any future vlogs I make. Um, so today is a very exciting vlog, um, it's a reveal of a collaboration that I've been up to with Liz at The Baker That Sews. I'll put Liz's YouTube channel below, she's amazing, she makes wonderful clothes and she's such a lovely person too. Um, I've really enjoyed working with her on this collaboration. Um, so first of all, um, you might want to, if you haven't seen it before, have a look at our instruction vlogs. We each did a vlog talking about the collaboration and our plans and I'll link um, them both down below so you can have a watch. Um, but before I go into any more details on our collaboration, I thought I'd mention what I'm wearing today. Um, so I've just got back yesterday actually from a week on the Isle of Wight with my family. Um, we weren't sure if we were going to be able to go with the virus, but um, luckily we, we were able to go. Everything was fine with the ferry and we had a little cottage there, so it was quite nice and um, socially distanced. And it was a really lovely week. Um, but I did spend the week um, in totally windy weather. <laughs> it was very windy and my hair was a huge um, mess of sea salt and windiness and um, I wore kind of pretty much like jumpers and leggings all week. So it's been quite nice today to get up and do my hair and put in a pretty dress. Um, and so I'm quite enjoying that, <laughs> feeling a bit more preen today. Um, so what I'm wearing today is a It Tilly and the Buttons indigo dress, which I made, I think it might have been last year now. I think I made it just for Halloween last year because I thought it was a little bit Halloween-y um, with a black and then the sort of little stardust twiggy bits on it um, and it's um so I've made it with the little um, ruffle in the middle and with the just plain sort of bracelet sleeves kind of three-quarter length sleeves and it's in this beautiful viscose twill um, from Atelier Brunette um, which I saw and loved and immediately when it came out I got it straight away and I'm not usually that um, quick on the uptake of fabric so this one was a particularly special one and it's beautifully soft as Atelier Brunette fabrics always are and um, yeah, it's really comfy actually, and um, it's nice to be, it's a bit cooler today, so it's nice to be able to get some autumnal wear out. So that's what I'm wearing. Um, but yeah, on to our collaboration I've been doing with Liz. So um, early this year, um, Liz and I thought we got together and thought we'd like to um, do, a, do a project together because um, we get on really well and I love everything she makes. Um, and so we thought we'd, um, what we do is we pick one pattern for us both to make and then we go away and we wouldn't tell each other exactly what we're up to and then we come back and share what we've been making. And the pattern we decided to work with was this one here, the, um, the closet case, a Calais shirt and shirt dress. Um, and it's a pattern I've made before and there's different options here and I've made a couple of the options for this one here and then um, a kind of combination of this one and this one. Um, and if you um, go back to my vlog where I talk about this collaboration, I take you through the versions I've um, made before and show pictures of those. So do have a look at that if you want to see more details of the other Calais I've made. Um, so I've had a lot of fun uh, making this. I made it a couple of weeks ago because I needed to get it finished before the holiday and I've just taken some photos this morning so I'll be able to put some photos up, two of me wearing it. Um, but before I start talking about what I've done, I'm going to hand over to Liz and she can tell you a little bit about um, her project. So um, here we are, I'll insert Liz's video now. Hi Kath, Liz here. Thank you so much for agreeing to do this collaboration with me. I think it's really exciting that we're sewing up the same pattern, but we don't really know what we're going to end up with. We don't know what the finished result is going to be. Um, I loved watching your introduction vlog, finding out what fabric you decided to choose, and I cannot wait to see what you have done with the pattern and what your finished garment will look like. Um, so as you'll all know, we decided to do a collaboration where we were going to do the same pattern, but we're going to do it different. Um, and if you'd watched Kath's introduction vlog, and if you haven't seen it, do go ahead to her channel and watch it because it's really interesting. I love listening to Kath talking about her plans and makes. Um, she chose some beautiful fabric. I think she got it from Sony Sunshine, which was like a coral leaf print. It's beautiful, um, but I'm not sure what she's going to do with the actual pattern and how she's going to turn it into a shirt or shirt dress. Um, and if you watched my introduction vlog, and if you haven't seen it, I'll pop it down below. I had a range of fabrics and I really wasn't sure which fabric to use, so I needed lots of help from you guys. And I had so many comments on that video. Um, quite a few comments actually encouraging me to make two shirts. And if you follow me over on Instagram or on my YouTube channel, you'll know that I do tend to, when I've made a pattern and I really enjoy it, I tend to make it for a second or third time because I like to hone my skills. So I'm gonna show you really quickly the fabrics that I did decide to go for. And yes, I said multiple fabrics. 
fabrics um, and I'll talk very briefly about the shirts that I went for but then it'd be really great if you could hop over to my channel once you've watched the lovely Kath share what she got up to and come and see what I got up to. So in the end there were so many votes for the lovely mint fabric I've just realised it's inside out, uh, with the tangerines on, which was this fabric. So I did choose to do something with this one. But then there was also lots of votes telling me that I needed to do something with the Ruby Star Society fabric as well. So I have done something with both of those fabrics. Um, and if you saw my introduction vlog, you'll know that I had eliminated the idea of doing the dress. I wanted to do either the cropped version or this shirt version that sits at your hip. So I'm not going to say any more about what I got up to, but it'd be really great once you've watched Kath's blog, if you could head over to my channel. I'm at The Baker That Sews and come and find out what I got up to with the Cali shirt dress and these two beautiful fabrics. Thank you so much, Kath, um, and I hope that we can work together again on a different project in the future. Thanks so much for joining me on my channel, Liz. I've really enjoyed our collaboration. It's been lovely to have you on here, and I can't wait to see um, your um, Calais on your, on your vlog. Um, so please do um, head over to Liz's channel to watch her full vlog and find out all about what she's been up to after you've watched this one. And I'll put the link down below so you can find it easily. Um, so yeah, now I'll move on to talking about what I've been up to on our collaboration. So if you see my previous vlog where I introduced our collaboration, um, I talked a little bit there about how I had already chosen the fabric I was going to use to make my Calais, but I hadn't decided which version of the Calais to make. So I'll show you the fabric first of all that I used. And it's this beautiful um, Lady McElroy cotton lawn, which I got from Somi Sunshine. And I got 2.65 metres of the fabric, so I had plenty to play with. Um, it's lovely, it's, it's got a kind of white or off-white base with a kind of peachy pink um, large scale leaf print on it. And it's not usually what I go for, as I talked about in my previous vlog, because it's quite um, a different colour than I'd usually choose and also quite a large scale print. But um, I thought I'd push myself um, out of my comfort zone for this collaboration. And um, Liz often um, chooses lovely bright colours and also um, funky prints. So I thought I'd go for something similar inspired by her for the collaboration. Um, it's beautifully soft and it's also opaque, so I didn't need to think about lining it like you often do with a paler fabric. Um, and it was really lovely to sew with, it was really stable and perfect, um, with a little bit of crispiness for a shirt. Um, so that's what I chose, and I've got actually a decent amount left, um, which, I, which is lovely because I think it'll be really nice for um, using to line pockets and making my insides pretty on other garments, so that's really nice. Um, and so yeah, I wasn't sure which version I was going to go for, and the colour does have a number of versions you can choose. Um, there are lots of different options to play with, so plenty of fun to choose. Um, you can do sort of uh, different types of pleats on the back, and you can do different types of plackets too, and different collars. So quite a lot of different options. And so I um, decided um, to do a hack. And the reason why I decided to do a hack of this pattern is because firstly, I've made a couple of versions before, so I thought that would be something a bit different. And also, um, I've loved some of Liz's hacks this summer, so I thought, right, I'm going to do one myself. And um, I decided what I was going to do was so turn the Calais shirt um, into a dress with a gathered um, skirt. So um, what I'll do is I'll put up a picture of me wearing it so you can see the full thing, and then I'll talk you through some of the details of, of, of my version. So um, before I um, started cutting up the fabric at all, I knew I needed to alter the, fab the pattern pieces for my hack. So what I decided to do was, I decided to take the standard, um, the standard Calais shape, um, of the shirt um, and extend the, um, the um, sides down a little bit but not too tapering out, fairly straight um, and I just cropped it off at my natural waistline and um, then I constructed the shirt just um, as you would um, normally per the pattern and I used the um, standard button placket, the visible placket, so you can see it here and um, if you look closer I've kind of chosen some off-white buttons, oh you see off-white buttons with a little bit of pink thread in them to kind of tie them into sort of the pattern. So yeah, I constructed the shirt as normal. I used um, the normal um, cuffs on the um, sleeves because I really like that detail. And I used the mandarin collar because I thought it would be a bit more relaxed for a shirt dress. So that's what I used there. Um, and the only difference I made was I added the yoke at the back, but I didn't add any pleat at the back. So I adjust the pattern piece, the back pattern piece, to bring it in slightly to, um, a, to account for the taking out the pleat. Um, because I thought when I wasn't sure when I when I was going to gather in the skirt and pull it in the back with some waist ties which I added how that would look with the kind of pleat it might sort of distort it slightly by when it was pulled in so I thought it was more straightforward to keep it simple at the back and I quite like how it looks there with the um the um with the yoke with the with the yoke and then the kind of simple back 
Um, and then when I sewed up the sides of my, my top of the shirt dress, I added in these waist ties, these kind of fairly skinny waist ties, because I wanted it to be able to be pulled into the waist to show my waist. Um, so that was the top, constructed fairly straightforward per the pattern, um, with a couple of little minor tweaks, like the waist ties and the lack of um, pleats at the back. Um, so then I added three buttons on, because um, I intend to wear it sort of open, probably like this, as you can see in the photo. So that's how I constructed the top half of my um, Calais shirt dress hack with just a couple of minor tweaks to the pattern and then I needed to think about how I was going to construct the bottom. Um, so the Calais shirt um, doesn't come with any gathered skirt option, it's a fairly straight up and down shirt dress um, so I knew I needed to find some pattern pieces to make my gathered skirt um, and I decided um, I'd like to make a dip tem on my, on my skirt part of the dress as you can see in the photo um, and the reason I did that is because I thought it would add a bit of softness to the dress because the shirt top is quite structured um, and so the pattern piece I used as a starting point is the skirt pattern piece of the fringe dress by Chalk and Notch. And I've got that here, and as you can see it's a dip tem, and um, I've used that pattern a few times before and I really like it, so I use those pattern pieces. Um, and when I had a look at those pattern pieces, the skirt piece is quite narrow and it doesn't allow for a lot of gathering. So I widened it a little bit to make my skirt for the colour a little bit more gathered, because that's what the look I wanted. And I also, um, the, the, dip, the hem is dipped quite low, and I didn't want too low a hem dip with kind of too high on the sides. Um, um, so I wanted a bit more of a gentle dip, so I also adjusted the dip on the, on the pattern piece slightly to bring it up a little bit in the front to make it a slightly more gentle dip for the pattern piece. So once I'd adjusted the skirt pattern pieces, I cut out two, sewed them up down the sides. I also um, added in pockets um, in the fabric, as you can see. Pocket there. Um, and, um, and then once I'd done that, I gathered it up and attached it to the top. Um, and it came together really well, so I'm really pleased with that. And then to finish it off, um, I took inspiration again from the actual Calais shirt dress pattern, and I um, made some bias binding out of my fabric, and I made a bias bound hem, which turned out really nicely and worked really well with the... With the um, Dip hem because it provides a nice curve and means the fabric doesn't sort of pucker and um, when you're trying to hem it by turning it up on the curve. So that's how I did it and um, what I'll do is I'll put up a picture of the back of the dress too so you can see how it's pulled in by the waist ties um, and gathered up there and you can also see the, how it looks with the lack of pleats at the back and I'm really pleased with how it looks. So that's my um, Calais shirt dress hack. Um, I'm really pleased how it turned out. Um, I think it, it's really nice. I think it'll be perfect for summer. It's nice and cool and crisp and sort of nice and easy and breezy to wear. Um, and so I hope you like it. So I hope you've enjoyed watching the collaboration and I want to say thanks again to Liz. I've really enjoyed um, collaborating with you um, and it's pushed me out of my comfort zone and I'm really pleased with the result. I think it's a really pretty dress and I'm really glad that I had the opportunity to do it and think about um, doing a pattern hack of the Calais. Um, it's been a lot of fun. Um, and so to anyone who's watching, thank you so much for watching and um, I'd love it if you'd subscribe to see more of my videos and also press the bell icon um, for notification of my future videos. The next one I'm hoping to make will be um, talking all about my makes in August and um, I made a fair few things actually so I'm really looking forward to sharing them um, and it might be um, a couple of weeks in the making because uh, my children start school, um, well my son's back to school and then my daughter's starting school um, later this week and early next week. Um, so I'll be really sad to have them back at school, I'll miss them, but um, the plus side is I'll have a little bit more time to devote to making videos and things like that. So um, yeah, please do subscribe for more and please do um, go and watch Liz's video now to find out all about her amazing Calais um, and, um, and hear all about what she's been up to. She um, has an ama um, amazing selection of fabrics to choose from um, for her Calais, so I think there'll be some beautiful um, garments there to look at. So please do head to Liz's channel, it's linked below. And thanks again for watching and um, hopefully I'll see you again soon. Bye bye!